Hi, Eichelberger. My name is Miss Lawrence, and I'm really excited to be reading with you today. We're going to read one of my favorite stories. This is called How to Catch a Star. In this story, this little boy wants to catch his very own star. He tries and he tries, and at the very end of the story, he does it. He catches his very own star. And this just reminds me how we can do anything we set our minds to. Sometimes it's going to be a little challenging, right? Sometimes we have to try and try and try again, but we can do it. We can set do anything we set our minds to. So I hope you enjoy the story. How to Catch a Star Once there was a boy, and the boy loved stars very much. Every night the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. He dreamed of how this star would be his friend. They would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch one. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because the, then the star would be tired from being up, all, up in the sky all night. The next day he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere. So he sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited and he ate lunch and waited and after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So he very carefully climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find, but the star was still way out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with the life preserver from his father's boat but it was much too heavy for him to carry. If only he could fly a spaceship and just grab the star, but the only spaceship he owned was made of paper and it didn't fly well at all. Perhaps he could get a seal to help him fly up into the sky to reach a star, but the only seagull he could find didn't want to help. The boy worried he would never catch a star. Just then, he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star. Maybe it had fallen from the sky. He tried to fish it out with his hands. But when the boy reached out to touch the star, it just rippled through his fingers. Now the boy was sad, but in his heart, the wish just wouldn't give up. Slowly, he began walking home. And that's when he saw it, washed up on the bright golden sand. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own.